In this video, let's look at Google Gemma 3N Preview, which is a powerful, efficient and mobile first AI model. Google collaborated with hardware leaders, mobile hardware leaders like Qualcomm, MediaTek and Samsung System LSI to come up with a new cutting edge architecture for on-device AI. Gemma 3N is the first open model built on this groundbreaking shared architectures. So developers can begin experiment with this technology today in an early preview. The same advanced architecture also powers the next generation of Gemini Nano. Gemma 3N leverages a Google DeepMind innovation called Per Layer Embeddings (PLE) that delivers a significant reduction in RAM usage. What they are saying over here is that you can run a 2 billion and 4 billion model. Okay, if you have a 5 billion parameter model and a 8 billion parameter model, they can run with the memory overhead comparable to a 2 billion and 4 billion model. So models can operate with a dynamic memory footprint of just 2 GB and 3 GB. So what are the capabilities of Gemma 3N? It is optimized for on-device performance and efficiency. It starts responding approximately 1.5x faster on mobile with significantly better quality comparable to Gemma 3 4 billion and has reduced memory footprint achieved through innovations like PLE, KVC sharing and advanced activation quantization. It has many in one flexibility. This is very interesting. So a model with 4 billion active memory footprint natively includes a nested state of art 2 billion active memory footprint sub model. So this provides flexibility to dynamically trade off for performance and quality on the fly without hosting separate models. So it is something like sub models within a larger model. And when a larger model is hosted, you can still make use of the sub model. So they have something called as mix and match capability in Gemma 3 and to dynamically create sub models from the 4 billion model that can optimally fit your specific use case and associated quality latency trade off. So this is something interesting and they say that there will be a technical report coming up which will explain this particular part. But this is an interesting feature. It is privacy first and offline ready so it can run locally without an internet connection. It can um, so this automatically enables uh, privacy right. It has expanded multi-model understanding with audio. Gemma 3N can understand and process audio, text and images, offers significantly enhanced video understanding. Its audio capabilities enable the model to perform high quality speech recognition, so transcription, translation. Additionally, the model accepts interleaved inputs across modalities enabling understanding of complex multi-model interactions. Again, implementation is coming soon. It has improved multilingual capabilities. So improved multilingual performance in some languages like Japanese, German, Korean, Spanish and French. Strong performance reflected on multilingual benchmarks. Uh, so they claim that this model on the chatbot Arena ELO scores, uh, it is comparable to other models like G it does better than GPT 4.1 Nano, Llama 4 Maverick, 5.4. Okay, so this is the kind of score. But yeah, you know, this uh, chatbot Arena scores are kind of overrated. Right. Uh, this is about the performance of this model on the MMLU benchmark versus model sizes. Uh, so, you know, this chart shows that as the model parameter increase, performance also increases on MMLU. So you can actually now with this particular model, you can come up with intelligent on the go applications on mobile devices. So you can power deeper understanding, build live interactive experiences, develop advanced audio centric applications. They have some examples in this particular video. Let's just look at it. That will be available with Gemini Nano. This gives you a valuable head start in understanding and experimenting with the kind of AI that will be powering next generation on device experience. So Gemma 3 can be used for computer control. So for having an agent on your mobile device, right? which can perform operations using Android, uh, what do you call it? your Android uh, libraries and other things. Then they talk about, you know, that these are all can I add to the system to make it faster. So these are more like, you know, visual interpretation using this particular model. So you can do advanced visual interpretations. You can ask the model to come up with, you know, based on your query, come up with answers for different solution problems. Uh, this is the same thing which they talk about performance. So you can go and check out this video. So this model is already available on Google AI studio. I also tried it out, but only text capabilities, not the multi-model capabilities. I don't know why. And if you look at over here, this has a context window of 8192 tokens. So I just said generate Python code for a simple calculator app and it is able to generate this code. So you can go over here and you can try out its text capabilities. 
it is already available uh, you know for on device development it is available with google ai edge so what is this google ai edge so i just wanted to look up what is this google ai edge so here they say on device small language models with multi modality rag and function calling um, so google ai edge introduced support for on device small language models last year now you have capabilities like retrieval augmented generation and function calling libraries and gemma 3n is also available in google ai edge to develop on device applications so they talk about broader model support over here um, then you have gemma 3 1 billion and gemma 3n support over here right so you can uh, they talk about edge ai edge rag library uh, for rag applications and then they talk about on device function calling okay there is this ai edge function calling library um so yeah so this is the ai edge uh, library basically for on device development so gemma 3n is available there as well i'm not sure if gemma 3n is going to be released somewhere the way it is going to be released on hugging face or kaggle for you to try out uh, that's not mentioned over here at present but i hope this model gets released on kaggle or you know uh, you are hugging face for you to actually go and try out uh, local deployment and try out you know how this model works but this model is more focused towards mobile first ai so another interesting development from google so you can go and check out these blogs you can try gemma 3n on google ai studio you have to select this particular model over here so currently it is available for free you can go and try out over here as well hope this video is useful see you in another video